Right, we're just busy leaving Zenzi. Uh, it's 12 minutes past 6. We got up at quarter past 5. Our normal time. Had breakfast. And packed up. And now we... At the end of the street, turn left. Yeah, okay lady. And on the way to... Chinguezi. For... Three nights. Three nights. Nothing too special apart from our leopard sighting, uh, which was great to have uh, our first evening. Turn left onto H1 to 6. But then what they've done, the water holes down on the S50, none of them are operating. They all seem to have been closed off, so the sightings down on the S50 weren't great this time, eh? Right, let's just see what we see this morning on the way to Shinguezi. Over and out, Mrs. Douglas. Over and out. Ahina pups on the road up to Shinguezi. Two different ages. River. 
Our first afternoon drive. 34 degrees today. I think Monday we're going to have 40 degrees. So I'm not looking forward to Monday. Leopard coming through the trees there. There's a whole lot of impala down here in front of us, actually behind us. So it's coming through very, very slowly. Not sure whether he can climb down or not. No, I don't think he can. Look at him.
past morning here. <laughs> Good morning everybody from a very sunny Shinguizi. I must say the park is always, it's much easier to spot animals at this time of the year. It's not quite as hot as from October through to March, um, which is always nice as well because then it's nice and green, but the bush is so thick you battle to see the animals and you might have loads of rain. So possibly August is still the best time, August, September is still the best time to come to Kruger. Well, we find it the best. We prefer it, yeah. yeah. Um, yesterday we had loads of ellies because it was so hot. The ellies were swimming and cavorting up and down the banks and playing very nicely. Um, we stopped to take photos of a crested barber and a lilac breasted roller on a branch together. And the next minute a lioness was in the background chasing a zebra. So we, our focus turned to that straight away. But unfortunately, as luck would have it, she disappeared. And we turned and went up and down the road and she just disappeared. Completely the off. <laughs> we were baffled because we don't know how she disappeared so easily. And we had missed her. We had driven straight past her. So it just shows you the camouflage between them and the cheetahs and the leopards. Um, yeah, you, your eyes need to be very sharp. Anyway, today we are on our way on the river loop and we'll go up to, what's it, Baba, Baba Lalas or something, picnic site. Um, hopefully we see some interesting things to film and photograph. And it's our last day here. Yeah. It's our last day at Shinguiti. Tomorrow we go to Satara. Temperatures threaten to be 40 and winds of 30 to 50 kilometers. So 40 Celsius for this time of the year is very hot. But we'll see what we will see. And that's it for today. Yeah, over and out. A squirrel enjoying the morning sun. It's like those ones we found yesterday. Cory Busted. Going for his morning stroll as well. White fronted bee eater. We haven't seen too many of them around. I think this is about the third or fourth one we've seen. No, we saw them down at Satara having a bath. No, I'm saying up this uh, side, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah Satara side we saw lots. <laughs> 